What's up, YouTube? This your boy, Nick. Go back to you once again from Sports Lab TV. Thank you guys for tuning in. And if you're watching us on Facebook, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Come on now. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I get a little love on Facebook. Go over to my YouTube channel, Sports Lab TV. Comment. You're on Facebook. Yeah, get in there and comment. Uh, I get trolls on Facebook and disrespectful trolls. I will delete you because I put up a last video of basketball and it was getting crazy. It was getting it was getting crazy. It was a lot of cussing, a lot of swearing, you know, middle fingers, F this, F that, getting too crazy and talking too reckless. I will delete those comments. No, they, they weren't they weren't directed towards me. They weren't they weren't being disrespectful towards me. They wasn't tr tr trolling me. It was just they were getting kind of lit. They were getting too lit in the comments on Facebook. <laughs> I can't, no, 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 no. A few, then then it was just no, no. They're putting up middle fingers and boo boo emojis and and. You know, talking kind of reckless. No, I'm, I'm delete those comments. <clears throat> but anyways, find your lane, find your lane, and stay in it. When I first started doing YouTube videos uh, back in 2016, 16, 17, I did a video of staying in your lane, and that used to be my saying. It used to be my saying so much that I had friends repeating that stand in your lane stay in your lane find your lane and stay in it meaning find your niche in life and stay in it stay in your lane find your niche and stay in it you got grown-ups who never found their lane they never found their niche they never got a grasp of who they were as an individual in life I'll use myself for an example I am not good at YouTube I am not a good youtuber I don't get a bunch of videos I don't get a bunch of views on my videos excuse me I struggle being consistent at putting out content before. I've been doing better. The last couple of months, my views are up. My views are up. Because I have to force myself to put out con consistent content. I got another YouTube channel. And yeah, I had 50, 50 views. 50 views. And one week. No, sorry, sorry. 50 subscribers. My bad, I said 50 views. That video got me over 4,000 views, but I got 50 subs. Sorry, 50 subs in one week. But I didn't like how I got the subs. Because it was a roast video. And usually when you get subs, they're subbing because of a particular video or because they rock with you as an individual. A lot of times people won't rock with you, but they might catch that one particular video. And I don't like that. I don't. I wasn't happy over that. Because I made the video not really looking to get subs. And. But. Other YouTubers will capitalize on that. And that's why I'm not. I'm not a good YouTuber. Because I realized with YouTube, it's a lot of nick. It's a lot of negative content on YouTube. And people will subscribe to you because they want negativity. There's a lot of trolling and there's a lot of negativity on YouTube. If you're not going to play that game, you might not make it as a YouTuber. You're going to have to be really edgy. Really edgy. Especially in the black sector of YouTube. You gotta be really, really, really edgy. And that's just not who I am. But I'm better at blogging. Because blogging is more informational. My podcasting.
my podcasting is kind of like this type of content, positive and more informational. My YouTube channels are not monetized, but I'm making money from my blogs. I'm better at blogging and and podcasting than I am at YouTube. I struggled. I, I'm struggling on YouTube, and it doesn't bother me. I've accepted that YouTube's not really my lane. Blogging and podcasting is my lane. I swear, I, that's what I'm good at. I can tell you how to make money from blogging. I got videos on how to make money from blogging. I'm currently making money from it right now. <laughs> Make money from it right now. I can tell you. I can tell you how to do that. I can tell you how to get views from your on, uh, on your blog. I can tell you how to create a blog. I can tell you how to get views on uh, on your. Sorry, it's a cop driving around. I can tell you how to get views on your podcast, but. YouTube, you need more than views. You need subs. YouTube, there's a certain criteria that you need to meet before you make money from YouTube. There's no criteria making money from blogging and podcasting. You can make money from blogging and podcasting within a month. Within a month. You can't do that with YouTube. But I realized that I realized that um, blogging and podcast is my strong point. You got to figure out what's your strong point. You got to find your lane and stay in your lane. Find something that you're good at and stick with it. Find something that you love to do and stick with it. Find something that you love to do and you're good at and stick with it and be consistent at it. And that's where that's where and where you would prosper. Find your lane and stick with it. Staying in your lane. Find something that you're good at. Forget about the money. Forget about if it's easy or not. Find something that you love to just go for. If 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 it takes getting a degree at that particular thing, get the degree. If it takes for you to complete this course, complete the course. If it takes for you to buy this equipment, get the equipment. Sticking and staying in your lane is key if you want to be successful in life. I realize that. Doing YouTube. I realize that. That's why... The content that I do is what I love. It's what I'm good at. And I'm trying to and I find an audience. All right. Find something that you enjoy. Stick with it. And that's where you have the most fun. And that's where you're prosper. With that being said, it's your boy Nate. I'm out.